Hey guys and gals, Danny Boy here, and today I have the Motorola Edge, and I've been using this phone about three weeks as my daily driver, and what I want to do in this part one is do an overview here. We'll discuss, you know, part of this phone, then we'll do a part two where I discuss the rest of it. So let's go ahead and get into this, see what my experience has been like, whether I think this is, you know, a good phone or not. You know, let's kind of talk about this now. So speed right let's talk about the speed because that's a big thing on this phone snapdragon 765g so that's a newer processor really a new processor out to the market here now and uh basically um it's good you know it's pretty fast i think stats wise I, well i'm not exactly sure maybe I would say maybe feels 20 percent slower than like a a, a set um uh, like an 855 maybe um i don't have an 865 right now um so i'm not you know i've not used an 865 but i would say versus an 855 just a bit slower feeling okay but as you can see as i navigate the phone here it's pretty fluid pretty fast now i do have 90 hertz on here so that's gonna affect uh, the speed a little bit now if you can see as I go to recent apps here, you will see a little bit of lag there. And even as I flip through my apps here and then go back, see there's just a little bit of hesitation there. And, you know, I thought, well, that must be this Snapdragon 765G processor, right? Actually, no. What I did was I turned off. Now, right now it's on, but if I go into the display here, and if I turn off, and, and this is really um, interesting, if I go to 60 hertz on the refresh rate, okay, it's actually faster, okay? And see, it's just, it's ever so slightly faster, okay? And I guess that's because the, the phone's working less hard with the 60 hertz, but a lot of people are going to want to keep the 90 hertz on regardless of that little bit of speed decrease. At least that's been my experience. The good news about this is it should be able to be fixed with a software update, right? So this being as this phone has just come out, um, this will probably be fixed. So I wouldn't be too concerned about that. Uh, but speaking of display, and let's get this back on 90 hertz, right? Um... Oh, let's see here. So get this back on 90 hertz. Okay. Okay, so let's talk about the display here on the Motorola Edge. Now, if we go in here and take a look, um, we do obviously have these pretty uh, dramatic edges, curved edge display here. It goes about halfway down the phone here, guys, on the side. So... Really good looking display here now. We do have the, the hole punch cut out for your selfie cam there on the top. And basically what we're dealing with here is a 6.7 inch AMOLED display. This clocks in at 385 PPI. So it's not a quad HD display, so something to keep in mind there. But as you just saw a moment ago, it does have the 90 hertz refresh rate. That's really, really good. As a matter of fact, that kind of makes this phone stand out a little bit. Now, higher refresh rates are obviously becoming more common here in 2020, but it's just a really nice added bonus. It definitely adds to the smooth feeling of scrolling, right? So that's good. Um, so overall, guys, I really like this display. And as I've showed in a couple other videos about this phone, Probably the coolest thing about, you know, normally I don't like having curved edges on my phones. Let's just be real. I mean, I'm using the OnePlus 7T here to film this video. And, you know, that's one of the main reasons I got the OnePlus 7T over the OnePlus 8 or 8 Pro was because it has the flat display. Well, obviously we've got pretty big curves here on this display, but... Motorola has done something that I've never seen anybody else do as far as software implementation of the Edge display here. And, and what that is, as you can see here in this article from Wikipedia, 
you can see that the text is not going over the edge at all. It's very readable, okay? And that was always an issue for me because I like to read on my phone, so I spend a lot of time reading. That's probably the primary thing I do on my smartphone is read. So if I have the text kind of going over the, the waterfall there, I'm in trouble because that's going to hinder my reading experience. With this phone, they've added a feature that allows you to uh, sort of scooch the app up onto the flatter part of the display and you have black bars as you can see uh, where the edges are for the most part. Anyway, it gets your text on the flat part of the display. So if I turn that off, see what it does here? Now the, the text is coming over the side. And see, this is the way most edged display phones are is it it just it, it gets in the way when you try to read this with the text going over the side like that but motorola has solved that here with this button bam now it's on the flat part of the display and this is the first edge display phone that i feel like is the best of both worlds you can have an edge curved edge display phone but you're not really getting punished with your text going over the edges. So I really, really like this software implementation by Motorola. But overall here, guys, an excellent, excellent display. Okay, guys, so finally what I want to talk about in this uh, part one is the rear and the front cameras, right? Okay, so um, basically what we got going on here, if I flip the phone over, it looks like we have a quad setup here on the camera system. It's actually a triple setup. Um, that bottom is, is a sensor, that bottom circle, it's not a camera. So basically, you know, your primary shooter is a 64 megapixel f1.8 shooter. That's really good. That basically gets you 16 megapixel images, okay, out of this thing. So a lot of detail in the pictures on this phone. Okay, and then for the telephoto lens, that's an 8 megapixel f2.4, and that gets you 2x optical zoom. Okay, so good there, especially uh, for the price. You know, we're $700 here. And then the third camera is a 16 megapixel ultra wide. That's at f2.2. So it's nice to have the you know all three of the things you really want the most. I think here uh, on this phone. Okay, so good setup here. Now your maximum video resolution is 4K at 30 frames per second. Okay, so that's good. If we flip the phone around here, we do have a 25 megapixel, that's right, 25 megapixel selfie cam, and that's at f2.0. So a single cam on the front that's used also for your face unlock. So just a really good camera setup here, guys. Um, I can pause the video and show a few pictures here, but I did a much more in-depth review of these cameras. You're going to want to check out that video for some more detail here. Okay, guys, so i got some photos here, but as you can see, you know, you've got good detail here, good lighting, um, just really... Um, enjoy using this camera it's just really good here guys it's just there's a you know regular standard shot and then here's your wide shot okay now like i said i did a, a video uh, on the rear cameras and another video on the front camera so you're going to want to check those out for more in-depth and even some video samples there um so yeah, guys, just a really, really good uh, camera setup here on this phone. I would say for the $700 price point, it performs in line with that. They're not quite flagship level, I wouldn't say, but they're not. Uh, I would say they're almost better than mid-range, if that makes any sense. They're upper mid-range, okay? So upper mid-range, which the, it's in correlation with the price, right? Because we have an upper mid-range price here. So definitely a good camera experience here, guys. 
So, okay guys, so one more thing I forgot about here is I wanted to talk about the build here in part one of my overview here. And basically, uh, if we take the case off here, this case does come in the box. So a nice smoked case here. Really, really like having that in the box. But if we look at the phone, we got nice... Uh, a glass feeling here, you know, nice with the curved edges. We it's, it's flat on the bottom and top. You technically can stand the phone up. Okay, that's cool. Uh, it does have the headphone jack, which is definitely unique <laughs> these days. And then we've got a micro SD card slot with your nano SIM there. So that's really nice. And we've got this nice back here. Now this is not glass, I do not believe. I think it's uh, some form of plastic here, but it looks like glass, right? Uh, it does, the weight on the phone feels, you know, pretty good. Uh, it just has a good look here with the quad cam, well, triple camera that looks like a quad camera set up there. Okay, so just a really good look here. Um, this is the solar black color. I like this phone's build. I mean, it just, it, it, it definitely fits in line with the $700 build, I would say. Um, you know, if you had a glass back with some rings around those cameras, it'd probably be more going toward a thousand bucks, right? But it is what it is here, guys. Uh, definitely enjoy the build here. So just wanted to talk about the build really quick here, guys. Peace out.